So this is going to be a problem. How we can get this piece here? Yeah, it goes just this. I'm up for the challenge. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. I'm up for the challenge. This video deserves a special introduction and explanation because it is debatably the biggest upgrade I've chosen for this boat. So I'll start, I guess, from the beginning because I wouldn't have had it done if I wasn't here. I chose Grenada about a year and a half ago not knowing a thing about Grenada. All I knew was it was really far from the Bahamas and I was gonna do it. I needed to expand my comfort zone as much as I love it there, I needed to get out. It put some miles on me in the boat and for that I'm extremely grateful. I did not know about any of the yards. All I knew was that it was a spot people go to to get out of the hurricane. I was sitting in a bar in San Key and he was asking what my cruising plans are and I said Grenada and he said, oh, my friend owns Spice Island Marine. He has the yard, you should get in touch with him. So I got in touch with Dane and Dane told me we have a great welding team here. My main goal for upgrades this season was the stern. I knew I wanted to put a hydro vane in. I didn't really know how to make the rest happen. When we're looking for boats, we all have a list of things we want. And I also wanted a dinghy davit. I didn't want to have to put the dinghy onto the bow. I was alone. I wanted to be able to lift it up and go. This boat had a dinghy davit, but pretty soon I got tired of lifting the engine off individually every single time. And the engine itself wasn't the problem, but if it was over 10 to 15 knots, I actually hurt myself a lot trying to get that engine off. It wasn't safe and it wasn't practical long term. I also wanted to add more solar. With the old dinghy davit, it was eye level. So if I added solar onto that, I was gonna be staring at solar. I could have done like an extra mount on top to make it eye level, but then I'm adding all this stainless steel mess. Then came the hydro vane. The hydro vane wouldn't even work with my old davit. And I looked into buying a new davit like in a box last year around this time and there was nothing that I just loved. So that being said, when I told Dane I'm installing a hydro vane and yeah, I need the welding guys because I need to be doing a custom job for this davit and solar arch and I don't know how it's gonna work. The hydro vane has to go on the most aft surface of the boat and it has to be mounted somewhere where the boat structure is um, pretty much 90 degrees to the water so the rudder can hang off. And that was at the very back of the boat. Some of the modern boats, their swim platform, they can do it on the whole, like, on the very sides. I had to go off the very back in the middle. That meant that the dinghy had to be raised completely off the boat. Like, the dinghy couldn't be over any of the boat because it had to be behind the hydro vane. And then I wanted to add solar on top of that. And where are you going to put solar when there's this stick in the middle of this whole structure? And when Kenrick came over, when I hauled out three months ago, he kind of looked at me and I'm like, we can do it. And he's like, okay. These guys have done the most amazing work. I told them what I needed and they made it happen. They spent two weeks on this, two weeks actually installing it, taking it off, putting it back on. I don't know if there's anywhere else I could have gotten this quality product for this price and this customized and these guys are just they were willing to work with me and make it work. So I hope you enjoy it. I know nothing about welding and I can't teach you anything about this process, but you can watch some of it. They did the most outstanding job. Yes, you could be the TikTok, 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 if the arch is up here, yeah. it's going to be coming out this way, reinforced. So you're going to pull up and pull up. Okay. Do you have any ideas again? I'm up to the challenge. I can do anything. I can do anything. I'm up to the challenge. I'm up to the challenge. I can do anything. I can do anything. I got the X Factor players 
what you think about that. It's in my DNA, my genome's got It's day two of being at the dock. Yesterday, I worked on the chart plotter a little bit, installed new AIS. Kenrick came over this morning and told me to head over because they are assembling some of my Davit and the AC guys are coming back, replacing some pump. I'm still waiting on two batteries to come in. They've gotten to Grenada and my solar panels are in Puerto Rico right now. So we are just waiting on some stuff and hopefully be out of here soon. Bring your foot, Martin, bring it. Pull, pull, pull up. Bump to Nanda. You need um. You need to drop. And you're sealing with this. As expected, the hydrovane was a bit in the way. These guys took the davit off and back on more times than I can count, making sure that it would fit perfectly. They spent all day, every day, with the rain and the heat, making sure everything would be perfect. Ready to go, ready to go. I'm up for the 
After the davit portion was done, I bought my new blocks and lines. I chose three to one swivel blocks to make it as easy as I could on myself. My engine alone is extremely easy to lift with its four to one block, and the old davit for the dinghy only had two to one and one to one block. That being said, I'm really excited to lift the dinghy and see how it goes. Good morning, guys. Um, hey, ready to go? Oh, um. We're going to the vet. <laughs> I think he knows. What are you doing? You wanna go to the vet? No. We have to walk a little bit. Um, it's like less than a mile. But we're gonna walk to the vet and get his export certificate to head to the BVI's, hopefully, right? Yeah. Come on. Bob, come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. It's okay. In? No, we're going in. Come on. I know. Come here. Come here. I am me. <laughs> Hello. I received two of my solar panels during the vet visit, and they immediately started on the mounts for all four of them. They welded the mounts on, and just a few hours later, the remaining two solar panels cleared customs and were mounted. Is the plug in? Yeah, the plug in there. Good morning guys, I have not vlogged in a while, um, it's Friday morning, I've been at the dock for 12 days, feels like two, um, it should be the last day of the davit and arch setup, the solar panels got here last night, two came last week, and they weren't cleared through customs till Wednesday till Tuesday night. So Wednesday morning, Kenrick called me and said there's two panels here. Cause I told him I'm gonna fit as many as I can. So I told him I ordered four. And I was like, are there connectors? Cause I ordered connectors with them. He's like, yeah, there's connectors. So okay, that's weird. I ordered four. I'm like, there's two boxes. Yeah, two boxes. And I double checked the invoice, four panels. Um, I checked FedEx, it said delivered. So then I get back from the vet with Mako and I go on to FedEx and two of the four solar panels had gotten to St. Lucia twice and gotten and shipped back to Memphis. So the other two came in, cleared through customs last night. So um, they are gonna finish attaching the wind generator today and then the last solar panel will go on after that couple more things string all the wires through the holes and there was one more thing and I can't remember what that thing was so we're trying to head up to BVI this weekend and that will be a four-day sale I'm getting right back into it so I'm just waiting for the solar controller to come in yeah no 
Friday, the life draft was installed and the holes were drilled for the wires. I spent the day cleaning the cockpit, finally, and the weekend waxing and cleaning the teeth. Everybody wants a little piece of the cake. Always coming up too little too late. Digging your way up from the bottom. This game ain't for the weary hearted one. Let's get it started too. This ain't a party three. Are you ready to go? I don't even really need a number four. Said, hey, let's get down to it. I can be talking, but I wanna see a proof. Said, hey, let's get down to it. I can be talking, but I wanna the welding guys are 99% done. We all thought they were done, but I need the pipes are an inch, which is what my Starlink sits on, and we don't have a spot for my satellite positioning to go on so it's friday hopefully they can do that monday i'm waiting on a package with my solar controller to come in anyway so i should get that monday hopefully and then i'll be headed out so i still need to finish waxing and making her pretty so it's not a bad thing and i could leave the dock but Fear might as well sit at the dock while I'm already there and use the water since I'm down to one battery still. So not everything is finished on this. Dab it. There's two things not done. So excuse the wind. I'm supposed to be sailing in this. Here it is. And it's a mess. Um, I also got a life raft thing mounted. I hope this microphone is working. Um, when I got my life raft serviced, I realized I couldn't even get it out of the compartment. So I asked Kendrick to make a life raft holder for me. That way, all I have to do now is cut this line and the life raft falls in the water. So, um, big safety feature for me. I'm waiting on the mount for my GPS and the Starlink. So that's all that I'm waiting on now. Everything else is done. So here's the hydro vein. And see how it sits off. The davit. That being said, I just added a lot of solar. I don't have to take my engine off my dinghy every time. And I have a hydro vein. This became one of the main reasons I got excited to come to Grenada. After all of this work, I am so excited to leave the dock and get sailing. I have quite a few fun things lined up in the next few weeks, but I am still waiting on a few parts to clear customs before I can bring the sails out again. As always, thank you for tuning in and I appreciate all of your support.